Good morning, everyone. My name is Dan McAllister, and today I'm super excited because we are going to finish out my second series with week number four, workout number four, and today's a doozy. Before I want to like to, uh, before we get started, I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Continue to look for videos from me in the future. Okay. Also, when you click on it, click on the little notifications button. That's going to alert you every time I put videos up onto my YouTube channel. All right, here we go. Full body workout. I'm really excited about today. I'm going to put that up there real quick, but we're going to get started. Okay. So if you have yourself a mini band, probably like a 12 inch band and some dumbbells, we're going to put that around our calf level. And we're going to band, walk, and punch. <clears throat> Put it right around calf level. Grab yourself some weight between, oh, three and eight pounds. And you're going to step and punch on down. Really warm those muscles up today. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you something here. Go about 10 to 15 feet. And that would be one. Then I'm going to take those same weights and go no money. Elbows are at 90 degrees. Arms stay to the body. I want 12 of those for me. 12 to 15. Really squeeze back into those shoulder blades. Then lastly, after you do that, I want you to do some glute hip extension. I want 50, 5, 0, back at an angle. Each leg. I'm not going to do 50 right now, but just want to show you what you're going to look like here. I'm still holding on to the weights. I'm just holding them up nice and tall. Okay. After we do that, I want you to give me five to 10 minutes of cardio, and I will come back and see you. We have a lot to do today. All right, I'm back. So next we're gonna do two combo exercises and I want you to do either 10 reps, 12 reps, or 15 reps, depending upon the weights that you have available, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. First one we're gonna do, you could be on the floor, you could be on a bench, and we're gonna do a close grip press with a chest fly, and then we're gonna to go to a skull crusher. So, you're going to take, if you have weights, hold them together. You're going to take them down, press up, squeeze in the chest, come out wide, fly, don't let the weights touch, come down, skull crusher. Okay, now bring them back together. Press, fly, skull crusher. Ah, oh, keep squeezing that chest every time you come up. Squeeze that chest again when you come back in. And then squeeze those triceps when you come up there. Then bring them together. Slight bend in the elbows there. Skull crushes there. Really pay attention to your form. You want to go at a slow to medium pace, okay? This is not a rush. I'm going to do two more for you. Perfect. Move those off to the side for me so I can show you the next thing here. Another combo exercise. Grab some more weights. I want your legs out wide and plie. We're going to do a sumo squat, upright row into a shoulder press. All right, so let me show that again. Sumo squat, as you're coming up, get ready to go right to the upright row. So make the motion nice and fluid. So you're going to sumo squat, Come on up, knees come up, then rotate your hands, come on up. 
back down. If you feel like you need to pause in between each one, that's fine. All right, otherwise, if you can make it real fluid, do it. Keeping that core nice and tight. Ah, feels good. Told you I was excited. Two more. Perfect. Lastly, we're just gonna do some skiers. You can grab some light weights between three to five pounds. And you can keep your arms up, ski to side to side. If you wanna to touch the floor, you may. Otherwise, stay here, keeping that core tight. You can have a little bounce to your step, or you can just kinda of come back. Ski. Some people may even say this is like skating. I was never a really good skater, but I tried really hard. So now I want you to do those for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, or 50 seconds, okay? After you do that, that completes our circuit. I want you to do that three times total, all right? I'm gonna put the board up for you. And pause me. Alrighty, first round of fun is over. Now it's on to the next part. All right, so now we're gonna do some front foot elevated lunges. So find a step in your house or something you can elevate here. And you wanna bring that front foot and put on there. And we're gonna lunge down. Now, I would like to have 10 of these, 12 of these, or 15 of these, depending upon how many weights you have. If weights are too much, put the weights down and really concentrate on your form and keeping your body tall. Okay, and you're gonna literally lunge down back up go down to a comfort level if you can go all the way down that's fine if you can't go all the way down and you feel like you're about to lose your balance go to where you can go then switch legs toes are pointing forward keeping the body nice and tall Perfect, all right? So now, you're gonna keep a step around, and now we're gonna do some lateral step ups with a hammer curl. I'm oh, sorry, with a bicep curl. So you're gonna come up here, I got a step here from the side, you're gonna step up, we're gonna keep this foot planted up here, and we're gonna curl when we get to the top. Again, I want 10 of these, 12 or 15, based upon the weights that you have available. So keeping this foot up here, we're gonna step up, crunch. Now notice how my other leg came up into a crunch here. So we're doing a total body exercise. Squeezing those biceps at the top. Breathing out as you go up. Be careful with your weights here because depending on how many reps you do, there's a lot of bicep curls coming, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? Then you switch sides. All righty. Now we'll put all these to the side. Bring our little handy dandy mat out. And we'll do some plank touchdowns. So I want you to do this for either 30 seconds, 40 seconds, or 50 seconds. You're gonna go into a plank, elbows under your shoulders. You're gonna come up and then you're gonna literally tap down side to side, right around your hips or upper thighs, okay? So you'll be here, tap down, now. You gotta keep your core tight here.
keep it nice and tight. Breathe for me. If you're following along with me on the video, I'm going 30 seconds. And time. Lastly, you can take a small weight, somewhere between about three to five pounds. You go try to put that between your feet, like I'm doing here. Put your hands out to the side, and you're gonna crunch up and extend. Now I want you to do this either 15 times, 20 times, or 25, depending upon how the weight feels. If you don't have any weight, still do the reps. It's still a great workout for you. So you're gonna crunch up, extend. Again, if you're following along with me in the video, I'm gonna try my best to count to 15 here and talk to you at the same time. Five more. 13, 14, 15. Good. All right. Now that you completed that, that ends your circuit. So now I want you to go ahead and give me three rounds of that total. Then come back and we got an AM ramp today. Let me get the board for you. Sweating. And pause. Alrighty, that got me going. So, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do an AM ramp. So we're gonna do as many rounds as possible or, or as many reps as possible, however you wanna categorize it. I want you to do this for either four minutes, five minutes, or six minutes, okay? We're gonna do four exercises, and I got them set up as 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps, and five reps, okay? So we're gonna do a squat and curl, tricep kickbacks, rear duck flies, and then a burpee. Now, if you cannot do burpees, I want to use the squat jumps as an alternative or mountain climbers five each side, okay? So I'm gonna show you here what we're gonna do. Take some dumbbells, try to get some dumbbells that you can do all three exercises with without any stopping, okay? So you're gonna start the clock, which I'm not going to right now, I'm just gonna show you one round. You're gonna squat and curl at the same time. So facing forward, we want 10 of these. Now we wanna be going about a medium pace here because I want you to pay attention to your form, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more here. Maybe one more. Now go right into a tricep kickback. And 10, good. Then come right into a rear delt fly. Really squeezing back into those shoulder blades. Tummy's tight. Then you can drop those and go right to a burpee. On five of these. If those are too much for you, go squat jumps or go back into the mountain climbers we did yesterday and do five each leg and then come back and repeat. All right, so that concludes today. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm actually about to go do some more stuff here right now. So I wanna thank everybody for coming to my video here. Let me put the board up for you so you can do that here in a second. But thanks again for coming. Please share with at least five friends. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Here's the board for you. Do your AM wrap. Pause.